Welcome to our video installation guide for the Recoup Pipe Hex Waste Water Heat Recovery System. This installation process also applies to the reduced dimension Pipe Hex RD and bespoke sized Pipe Hex BE product variants. This video supports but does not replace sections 3 and 4 of the installation manual supplied with the Recoup Pipe Hex. Please ensure all sections of the Recoup Pipe Hex installation manual and supporting documents are read and understood prior to installation. These contain additional information regarding system design, SAP, and safety in respect of the Pipe Hex and general WWHRS installation. Before starting the installation, make sure you know which installation method is to be used. System A supplies preheated water to the cold side of the shower and to the water heater. System B supplies preheated water to the cold side of the shower only. System C supplies preheated water to the water heater only. The water heater could be a combi boiler, cylinder with any heat source including boiler, heat pump, direct electric or solar thermal, a heat interface unit, or thermal store. Knowing which installation method is to be used is particularly important for SAP compliance if waste water heat recovery has been specified for this purpose. Always check the M&E drawings for the property to understand how the pipe hex is configured within the complete design. For the system A and C installation methods particular attention must be made to the installation of any pre-plumbed cylinders on the M and E drawings, as the configuration could have changed from normal practice due to the inclusion of the pipe hex. Familiarize yourself with the size, required space, and orientation of the pipe hex and the installation components supplied. Drawings are included in the installation manual, downloadable versions are also available on our website. Check section 3C of the installation manual for guidance on locating a suitable area for installation. The recoup pipe hex must be installed vertically on a flat surface capable of holding the weight of the unit. Vertically mounting the recoup pipe hex main unit. Identify the main connection location points for the recoup pipe hex within the installation area. Fixing points for the pipe hex brackets. Timber fixing battens may be required if the vertical surface is not suitable for direct fixing the recoup pipe hex. The shower wastewater connection. The soil stack wastewater connection. The mains cold water in and the preheated water out. Five connection components are required that are not supplied. Two full flow shut off valves, a double check valve, and two half inch male BSP threaded brass connectors. A full flow shut off valve, and a double check valve, must be installed onto the cold water pipe feeding the WWHRS. The shut-off valve does not necessarily need to be located in close proximity to the recoup pipe hex unit. However, it is recommended that it should be installed in an easily accessible location and clearly identified as the WWHRS cold water shut-off valve. A full flow shut-off valve must be installed on the pipe for the preheated water out. There are two product boxes required. Box 1 contains the pipe hex, and box 2, the installation pack. See section 4A of the installation manual for assistance in identifying the component parts. Mark the surface, or battens, top and bottom with the position for the mounting bracket screw fixings, item 7B. Ensure the positions are vertically aligned and 1500 mm apart with suitable clearance top and bottom. The recoup pipe hex requires a 1500 mm spacing for the fixings. The reduced size recoup pipe hex RD requires a spacing of 1100 mm. 
The recoup pipe hex BE requires the fixing spacing to be 600 mm shorter than the length of the bespoke unit. The spacing range is from 465 mm to 1500 mm. This is the only difference in the installation process for these model variants. Drill fixing holes into the surface, or battens, with a suitable size and type of drill bit. Screw the mounting bracket screw fixing, item 7B, into the prepared hole. Repeat for the top position and ensure both are inserted to the same depth. Screw the main clamp part of the mounting bracket, item 7A, onto its fixing screw and tighten for both the top and bottom positions. Ensure the mounting brackets are positioned horizontally and the opening part of the clamps face the same direction. Position the pipe hex, item 1, within the clamps of the mounting brackets so that it is equally positioned top and bottom. Starting with the top clamp push the tightening screw through the outer clamp arm and tighten until the clamp grips the pipe hex. Repeat the process for the bottom bracket. The recoup pipe hex can be rotated within the clamps to connect with mains cold and preheated water pipes in alternative positions. Check the position of the mounting brackets from the end of the pipe hex and adjust if required, it should be approximately 300 mm top and bottom. Check the pipe has been installed vertically and once the position is confirmed fully tighten the clamps. Connecting the shower waste to the recoup pipe hex. The recoup pipe hex shower waste pipe connection requires the pipe hex turbo rotator, item 2 to be connected by a 43 mm solvent weld pipe. The top and bottom connection points on the turbo rotator are both 50 mm push fit and either can be inserted into the pipe hex. Insert the turbo rotator, item 2, into the top of the recoup pipe hex. The two connection points combined with the ability to rotate the turbo rotator within the recoup pipe hex allows the 43 mm solvent weld connection to be suitably positioned for the shower drain waste pipe. Push the turbo rotator cap, item 3, onto the top of the turbo rotator. The cap prevents the escape of smells and provides an access point if cleaning is required that cannot be achieved via the shower drain or plug. Ensure the solvent weld pipe connects to the turbo rotator correctly, then apply a generous amount of solvent adhesive to the outside of the solvent weld pipe coming from the shower drain. Push the pipe into the 43mm connection of the turbo rotator and allow the adhesive to set bonding the components. Be aware that full disconnection of the turbo rotator after bonding may require the solvent weld pipe to be cut and reconnected if applicable. In many cases the shower drain waste pipe will run horizontally within the ceiling space above the recoup pipe hex installation area. The pipe hex should be positioned so that the turbo rotator and shower wastewater connection is also in the ceiling space. If the shower drain waste pipe runs vertically through the floor above, a 90 degree connector will be required to connect to the horizontal position on the turbo rotator. Connecting the recoup pipe hex to the soil stack. The soil stack waste connections supplied for the recoup pipe hex are 50 mm European push fit. A 50 mm push fit reducer, item 6, is supplied to connect to UK 43 mm solvent weld pipe. Push the coupling insert, item 4, into the bottom of the recoup pipe hex. Ensure the end with the rubber O-ring is inserted into the pipe hex. Push the coupling insert in as far as it will go. The insert design allows water to drain from the unit if one of the exchanger walls becomes perforated or damaged. 
This recoup pipe hex installation is minimizing the space required, therefore the pipe hex is as close as possible to the soil stack. With minimized installation space, to connect the components onto the bottom of the pipe hex, you may need to loosen the clamps and raise the main unit. Insert the 50mm push fit reducer, item 6, into one end of the 90 degree connector, item 5. Connect the reduced end of the 90 degree connector onto the drainage pipe and into the soil stack. If raised, lower the recoup pipe hex and coupling insert into the 90 degree connector and retighten the clamps. Connecting the recoup pipe hex to the mains cold water pipe. Remove the red dust cap from the half inch female BSP threaded mains cold water connection at the bottom of the recoup pipe hex. A half inch male BSP threaded brass connector, not supplied, is needed to connect to the mains cold water pipe. Either parallel or tapered half inch male BSP threaded brass connectors can be used. Parallel threaded brass connectors should be sealed using a washer or o-ring. All connectors should be sealed using a suitable thread sealant complying to the water supply regulations for water fittings. Apply the thread sealant to the connector's thread. Screw the half-inch male BSP threaded brass connector into the connection at the bottom of the recoup pipe hex. Tighten the connector into the pipe hex to a maximum of 30 newton meters. Take care not to over tighten. Connect copper pipe to the compression connection on the half inch male BSP threaded brass connector. Run copper pipe work and compression fittings in an appropriate way to reach the double check valve on the cold mains water feed pipe. PVC connections could be used for connecting the mains cold water feed but copper is considered best practice. 15mm or 22mm pipes can connect to the recoup pipe hex. For 22mm pipe work a reducer will be required. Ensure that all compression fittings are fully tightened and joints sealed. The pipe hex can be rotated in the clamps and alternative pipe layouts created to suit different installation spaces. Connecting the recoup pipe hex to the preheated water pipe. Remove the red dust cap from the half inch female BSP threaded preheated water connection at the top of the recoup pipe hex. A half inch male BSP threaded brass connector not supplied, is needed to connect to the preheated water pipe. Either parallel or tapered half-inch male BSP threaded brass connectors can be used. Parallel threaded brass connectors should be sealed using a washer or o-ring. All connectors should be sealed using a suitable thread sealant complying to the water supply regulations for water fittings. Apply the thread sealant to the connector's thread. Screw the half-inch male BSP threaded brass connector into the connection at the top of the recoup pipe hex. Tighten the connector into the pipe hex to a maximum of 30 newton meters. Take care not to over-tighten. Connect copper pipe to the compression connection on the half-inch male BSP threaded brass connector. Run copper pipe work and compression fittings in an appropriate way to reach the shut-off valve on the preheated water pipe. PVC connections could be used for connecting the preheated water, but copper is considered best practice. 15mm or 22mm pipes can connect to the recoup pipe hex. For 22mm pipe work a reducer will be required. Ensure that all compression fittings are fully tightened and joints sealed. 
the pipe hex can be rotated in the clamps and alternative pipe layouts created to suit different installation spaces. Commissioning the recoup pipe hex. Open the isolating shutoff valve on the cold water feed to start the cold water flow into the recoup pipe hex. Open the isolating shutoff valve on the preheated water pipe to start the flow from the recoup pipe hex. The pipe hex needs to be isolated if system pressure testing is performed to proceed beyond 10 bars or if any future maintenance is required. The commissioned recoup pipe hex will now be ready to operate in the property. Heated water from the shower waste enters the pipe hex at the top through the turbo rotator. Cold mains water enters the bottom of the recoup pipe hex. The pipe hex efficiently transfers the heat from the waste shower water to the incoming mains cold water creating preheated water. The cooled waste water exits the pipe hex via the soil connection. The preheated water is then directed to the cold side of the shower and the water heater, or just to the shower or water heater, dependent upon the installation method used. Once installed please check and complete the following important points. Ensure the preheated water supply is only feeding both, or either of the water heater or the cold water inlet of the shower's thermostatic mixing valve. Clearly label the preheated water supply from the recoup pipe hex to avoid future connection of other services. Preheat supply tape is available for this. Ensure the preheat pipework is correctly insulated from the pipe hex to the water heater or the thermostatic mixing valve of the shower, or both. When the complete system is being checked and pressure tested, the pipe hex must be isolated if the system testing is to proceed above 10 bar. Ensure the SAP label supplied correctly identifies the system installed and is applied near to the water heater or in the boiler or cylinder cupboard. Ensure the installation of the pipe hex is registered for guarantee and SAP purposes. The recoup pipe hex comes with a market leading 10 year warranty as standard. The pipe hex requires no planned maintenance, however, periodic cleaning with domestic pipe cleaning products is recommended. Please be aware that for this video the space required for installation has been reduced as much as possible. Once commissioned and checked, the installation can be boxed in with the soil pipe. By keeping the installation space minimized, and by installing the turbo rotator into the ceiling space, the boxing can be as small as possible. The installation can fit into boxing with external dimensions of 385 mm by 220 mm. If you have any questions about the recoup pipe hex, this installation video, or any of our other wastewater heat recovery systems, please visit our website, recoupwwhrs.co.uk, or contact us.